good. Welcome, welcome everyone. Terry Ann Hyman here. This is my live stream video for my Empowered Spirit Show. This is where we come on, we talk about what's going on for the week, we look to cards for guidance, and we open up to that energy that is ahead of us as we center our energy and prepare for the week ahead. So how is everybody doing? Hey, Ernest, how are you? Hey, Rulini, how are you? How is everybody doing? All right, it's been an intense week. It just has. There's no getting around it. As hard as I've been trying myself, it has required lots and lots of meditation time, lots of pulling in, and that's exactly where the cosmos are. We're sitting right between that eclipse that we had last week with the new moon and the one that's going to come in with the full moon as we move into the new year. So we're sitting right between all of that energy, those portals that opened. So there is lots and lots of shifting going on. So what can you do about that? The best thing is to really take some time, reflect on your year as well as the decade, and just clear it out. Let it go. We have so much shifting going on in the cosmos. So many planets coming into Capricorn, which is an Earth sign, which is going to help us to ground. We have so much going on in the cosmos that there is shifting. Whether we want to recognize it or not, there is so much going on. And I know I've been feeling it. I know right now it's a little hard for me this time of year. My mom passed a year ago tomorrow, so I've got all that energy coming up. And as hard as I've been trying, it still gets to us. So we do have the imprints that come around. So it does take practice, sitting quietly, and really getting to where you can go to release and let go. Because that's what we really want to do. We want to let go. All right? We want to let go of all that excess energy. It's like we have to clean the energetic body out just like we clean other parts of our house, our work, and all that out as well, especially at the end of the year and the end of a decade. So that is really the focus, all right? So we have, what, Monday, Tuesday. Tuesday is, is, is New Year's Eve, and then Wednesday is that new year coming in. And right away, we're going to see some shifts happening, all right? We have all of those influences coming in, a lot of stuff coming all together. You're going to hear about it. You're going to hear about the conjunction, the Jupiter, the Uranus, the, Platter, the Pluto, the Saturn energy. All of that is coming in. And so it is affecting us because it's vibration and we are energy. All right. And so if we don't take the time to calm down, to release out the excess energy, you're going to feel very overloaded and overwhelmed. All right. We're already feeling how fast and, and how forward motion we're going. So really pulling the energy in and really finding some time to really reflect and let go. All right, I just did a podcast last week. It's going to help you to really take that walk around the medicine wheel, which is really symbolic, and how you can look at the last decade so that you can appreciate your work, you can let go of what's not working, and then you also know what you can bring forward. And that, to me, is really key because we are shifting energy. We're going deeper into that Aquarian age. We're going deeper into an energy all about us. We have this energy with... The, the cancer and the north node energy, which is really calling us to go within. And it's not just about, you know, being intuitive, being sensitive, but really getting into that part where you trust your own intuitive abilities, all right? Getting away from the codependency of looking at what everybody else is doing, but really trusting that interdependency of who you are. And so that requires us to get quiet and to get still. All right. So as we go through this beginning of the week, so you have another day or two as you start off tomorrow. Take some time whenever you can. I always like to suggest first thing in the morning, that's when it's quiet, that's when you know you can get your work in. Spend some time breathing. Spend some time reflecting on what has worked for you and what hasn't. Spend some time reflecting on what do you want to bring forward into the new year because that is really important and that's the energy we're in right now. Again, if we don't, you're going to feel a little bit overwhelmed. You're going to feel a little bit lost. You're going to feel like just like so much is happening that you can't keep up. I know that feeling. So for me, the more I can clean out, and the same for you, the more you can clean out and let go, the better you're going to feel. All right, we're going to see a lot of things shifting coming forward as we move into the year. We've got that other eclipse coming up, which is really going to break more stuff up. So the thing is, is notice. Like last week when that new moon came in, what were you thinking? What were you manifesting? And as you move through into the next eclipse coming up, what is that energy that you're asking for? Because this is definitely setting the energy for you for the next several months ahead all the way into 2020. So be careful with your thoughts. Be clear. All right. Really work on raising the vibration. I know, again, for me, it's been really hard for me to keep that vibration up because we tend to drop it and come back and drop it and come back. 
So finding the ability to keep it up is really important. All right. And like, don't be so hard on yourself. And I say this because I say this to myself as well. All right. I'm thinking, oh, I thought I'd be better coming around this year. And I am better. But yet it still affects us. So the quicker we can bring ourselves out of those lower vibrations, the better it's going to be. And recognizing your own strength and your own abilities right now is really important. And take some time to offer gratitude for what the year has been for you. All right. All too often we push it fast. We push it far. We don't really appreciate all that we've done. So make sure that you do take some time to acknowledge what is working, the things that you've accomplished. All right. Especially over the decade. I mean, 2010, I was still in New York. All right. I had just started thinking about moving back to Birmingham. I was still in New York. My kids were graduating. They were taking jobs. So, so much has happened for me moving back here and starting my practice here and just losing both of my parents, moving through all that energy, even lost my kitty cat, like, whoa. But I also did some really great things too. I started my practice in Birmingham. I wrote and published my first book, all right? So really some good things too came about it. So we have to look at both sides and take the time to honor all the things that we've done. But again, we have to really let go of all of that excess energy, all right? We're going to be pushing on that energy, the south node, the north node, that's our purpose. That's how we show up, and all that energy is going to really start coming in as we move through this week into next and into that eclipse energy. So the more that you clear out, the more that you let go, cut those cords, which is what we're going to do in the meditation tonight, the more you're going to see that there is more freedom coming in and that you can shift your perspective and you can open up to really letting go of those old ways, and we're going to see that all through 2020. All right, my podcast next week, I'll do a forecast on 2020. There's so much to talk about, so much going on in the world at large. But really, clearing the energy is the best thing to focus on for this week. All right, so that's what we're going to do as we move through the meditation. We really want to just clear it out as much as we can. So let's go ahead and take that moment, wherever you are, if you can. Take a moment, whether you're joining me now or joining me later. Closing your eyes if you can. And just begin to feel your energy pulling in, calling in, pulling that energy body, calling in your spiritual self, feeling your higher self coming in right into alignment. So I go to light the sage. So we go to close out this year, inhaling and exhaling, taking the time to just feel yourself centering calling in your spiritual body, feeling that alignment right on top, shoulders and shoulders, hips and hips, feet and feet, starting to pull your energy in, pulling that breath up the body, and exhale, pulling the breath all the way back down, feel that connection with Mother Earth, inhaling, feel the breath coming all the way up the body, up into the higher realms, and exhale, pull the energy back down, pull the breath down, releasing out as you exhale. 